Hey everybody, this is Zodkin. Welcome to the next tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be integrating um, Feel into Platformer Project. Specifically, we're going to be working with Camera Shake. It's something somebody has already asked for. Um, Feel is an amazing asset. I didn't know it was on sale, so uh, if you see this video in time, pick it up. Um, this asset does everything. It does everything for you. The More Mountains, the developer of this asset, has coded everything. And, and almost any effect you could possibly think of is drag and drop thanks to this guy. Everybody should have this asset. This is a tool that should be in everybody's toolbox. And today, even though we're only going to be talking about, uh, we're only going to be setting up a, a simple camera shake when um, when an explosion happens, um, there is a, a, a YouTube page for More Mountains where he does a full breakdown and tutorials on how to use um, this asset. So I won't go super, super deep into it today. We're going to, you know, just worry about the integration and the updated fireball scripts. <clears throat> and that's right. You heard me right. Uh, I've updated the fireball scripts in a good way. Um, the last tutorial is still going to work the same way. The only difference is the script's going to look a little bit different. So um, this is where we left off, where we had the uh, we, fireball, but it was just a just a little white ball. Um, to this time, just to make it a little more exciting, I'm going to show you that the fireball script doesn't have to be just fireballs. You can use it for missiles as well. Um, all of the new scripts, including the new prefabs, you can find in the GitHub already. The link is down below. Um, once you put all the new scripts in here, um, we can go ahead and uh, show you what the difference is. So the first big difference you're going to notice is there's no effects or little fireballs or anything inside this, the fireball itself. It's just scripts. Because now the new script can pull these from the project. All right. Um, the other thing you're going to notice is that there is an adjustable <coughs> um, collider radius. And what that is, is because I've added Raycast to the script. So not only does it um, interact with the colliders, it'll also, it also is a little more accurate. Okay. Especially if you're going to be using, you know, um, bullets and missiles. Um, all the other settings are here for play, uh, uh, platformer project because this is the platformer fireball script. So you break objects, you need to turn them on, you know, how much damage. Um, there's this new setting. This is for the raycast. So basically you want to tell it um, what layer that the raycast is going to see. Um, so what I would suggest is put all of the stars and coins, things you don't want the bullet to interact with, um, on ignore raycast and then the bullet will just go right through them as if they weren't there, but you can still collect them like normal. Um, this is the amount of damage for PP for, for platformer project enemies. And then this is a, an event th uh, that I added that you can add additionally to the, um, to the damage or the explosion. And in this case, we're going to use this for feel. <clears throat> um, if you want to use the Emerald AI, um, you can just add this damage AI collision, which comes with the Emerald AI, um, uh, asset and then this will work just fine with them as well just just note that their damage is down here it's, this is the damage for the PP or the platform project enemies so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our uh, sphere right um, we're gonna I'll show you how I made it real quick just so you can see what I'm doing here so what I did is I added a sphere and I took off the collider um, I made it a little bit smaller and then I, for the purpose of uh, making sure that this um, fires out of the gun facing the right way, as well as um, <clears throat> any missile that might come up or whatever, or any effect, um, I'm going to make it look like an egg. So this is our, this is our test missile. Okay. And then I just drug this down here and I made a prefab. Now I already have a prefab, so I'm not going to do it again, but that's, that's all I did for this bullet. So if we go to the fireball script and we drag our bullet in there. Um, we can also put an impact particle. So this would be, uh, you know, the explosion, right? So you can find an explosion in here. Let's say fat green explosion. All right. And then let's say a muzzle particle. Let's call Let's do, um, uh, oops. muzzle. Um, we'll do, we'll do pink. Okay, <clears throat> so now we just, uh, we're just going to use the egg for right now just so we can see it better. Um, and uh, let's go ahead and test that out and see what it looks like now. Oh, the other thing we're going to do is in the gun barrel, um, you might remember in the tutorial this was negative 22. And the reason this was negative 22 is so that you could shoot it and it would bounce off the ground. It would like shoot down at a 45 degree angle. But this time we're making a missile, so we want it to stay straight. And the last thing that you want to change <clears throat> before I forget is in the fireball, 
you want to go into the rigid body and you want to go to constraints and constrain it to Y. This will allow it to stay at a certain, you know, on the Y axis. Um, I mean, it won't go up and down. It won't bounce. It won't, uh, it'll just shoot straight like a real missile. Okay. So that being said, let's go ahead and hit play and see what it looks like. See it build a little guy over there. Now, one thing you'll notice is you see how it's hitting those stars. It's hitting those stars because they, uh, the ray task is hitting them. And how we fix that is remember uh, in the fireball script we told it to ignore, um, ignore the uh, ignore ray cast. So all we got to do for that one is we just go over and we click on the star. Star. We we'll click on the star and then we just change it to ignore raycast and we just say this object, but then we go to overrides and apply to all and it'll apply to all the stars, right? And we want to do the same thing with, uh, you know, the coins here. So we go to the coins and we go to ignore raycast, uh, just the object, just the, the parent and then apply all. And then the last one, of course, is the heart. <clears throat> so we'll do this, ignore raycast. Uh, no, and then uh, I wanted, I'm doing it to all of it so you can see that it doesn't affect your ability to collect anything. Um, it just keeps the bullet from blowing up when it hits the parts. As you can see, you can still collect them, right? You can shoot at the point, but you can still collect them. And then the stars. Okay, good. So. We have, a, we have our missile, the egg thing is shooting in the right direction, our explosion is working and all that. Um, so now what I want to do is, uh, um, let me close this so it's not such a mess. Oops, wrong one. All right, so now what I want to do is I want to show you, um, <clears throat> before we get to the feel, I just want to show you what happens if you have a virtual effect um, that comes from a... Uh, um, <clears throat> comes from another developer that's not as easy as using Epic Tune FX. So Epic Tune FX, you saw it comes with sound effects and I just thought it just um, drag, drag and dropped it into here and it worked, right? Um, but there are some effects that are not as, uh, um, not as easy, okay? <clears throat> so what I did for that, what I did is I downloaded another one that's popular called uh, Tune Projectiles. <clears throat> Tune Projectiles gives you all of these um, prefabs. So the mistake that you might do is you might say, oh, I want a torpedo, right? But when you put this in here, you notice that there's all kinds of scripts and rigid bodies and colliders and stuff on here. So uh, if you get one of these, and and <clears throat> specifically when you, uh, like when you're doing particle systems or whatever, you know, you're not going to be able to find them here because they may be coded themselves. So what you're going to do is you're going to, you're going to unpack it and then you're going to take all your, your visuals um, and you're going to drag them out and you can go ahead and delete this one that has all these files we don't want on it. So now you have your missile. I'm just going to put, so you got your missile, you got your flash, uh, which is your um, muzzle. Um, you have your explosion, which is your uh, uh, hit. I mean, your, you know, explosion when it hits and then you have your smoke now the smoke is supposed to go with the missile so we're just going to drag that into the missile all right so now we have our missile uh we have our i'm just going to rename this so it's a little easier uh we have our muzzle and we have our explosion <clears throat> okay so now we're going to create prefabs all of all of these so i'm just going to go into my scripts here I'm going to create a, a folder just so I can find these and just say my bullets. Okay, great. And then once we're in uh, my bullets, I'm going to drag each one of these down and create a prefab of them. All right. So now that you have each one of these, you want to go through and make sure there's a couple of things um, that there's no rigid bodies or anything on here and you want to make sure that it's set up to play on awake sometimes it's not and for my script it's going to have to so this one doesn't say play on awake so we want that one to play all right 
So let's go ahead and remove all of these now. We don't need them in the fireball itself. Go back to our fireball and let's go ahead and drag these in here. So we have our explosion and we have our missile and we have our muzzle. And let's go ahead and see what that looks like. My computer is recording video and everything else at the same time, so it took a took a second to, re to render. But anyway, <clears throat> you'll see that it's working. By the way, the sign itself has like a collider around it as well. All right, so let's let's go ahead and change the sign to ignore Raycast. <clears throat> that way, it doesn't get in our way here. Okay, so. Now we, we see that the missile worked, but did you notice that the missile didn't have any sounds, right? So how we fix that is we just go into our, our bullets and we put a um, uh, an audio source. And then we select a sound. Hopefully there's some audio in here. So let's say this is the bullet, right? So let's look for a bullet sound. Uh, that'll work. And uh, now we need to go into the explosion and we need to put a sound in there so we can hear it explode. And let's look for explosion. Um, let's do fireball explosion. All right, so uh, those are actually in the prefabs of the bullets we created themselves. And if we hit play, Now we have this really awesome missile, but we haven't done anything with feel yet. So that's what we're going to do now. Um, so let's go back into our bullet. In this case, just so you know, feel can be put anywhere. It can be run from any place within the scene. Um, but in this case, we want this specific, uh, this specific effect, the camera effect, to work with um, the fireball. So it's going in the fireball itself. So there's two steps that we have to do here. The first one is we need to um, we need to add a uh, asset from field called MMF player, okay, and then inside the player itself we need to tell it what what kind of feedback we're going to do. And in this case we're going to do a simple one. So we're going to do a camera impulse. Once you go in here, um, there's a bunch of preset settings and make sure that the MM60 shake is set up. That's a prefab that comes with it. It should be in there, but if it's not, just so you know, that's that's what tells it you know like what to look for. Um, and then uh, the velocity is basically how hard is the camera going to shake. Um, I'm going to leave this at default, but you can make these adjustments to make the camera react the way you want. But something you shouldn't miss is if you go into automatic setup, when you click automatic shaker setup, what it's going to do is it's going to add something to the, um, to the Cinemachine camera, the player camera. So if we go back to the scene, and we click on the camera, and we're going to notice that the camera now has a new script called the Cinema, Cinemachine Impulse Listener. And that's all you have to do. It's going to automatically listen for that shaker. Uh, and, if you, and, and if you go to the default uh, parent of the camera, then you can go ahead and add that and it'll show up. It'll be automatically connected to all the scenes. It won't affect anything with the PP camera, the, the default camera at all. It will just allow the listener, I mean, allow field to make the impulse for the impact. So let's go back to our fireball. And the final step is we need to add um, an event here with the MF player, drag that here. And then we're gonna go down here to MF player and we're gonna say play feedback. And that's it. That's all you gotta do. Um, if there was uh, more than one um, uh, event going on or more than one effect going on, um, you'll learn more about that from the tutorials from More Mountain. But right now that's the only one we wanna do. So. Now, in theory, we told it that when the bomb explodes, when the gun, bullet or missile or whatever explodes, that it should shake the camera. So let's see if that happens. Now the shake is gonna be kind of crazy because I didn't make any adjustments, so it's pretty heavy right now. So let's go shoot some. Boom, look at that. Oh, 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 oh my god. And just, just so you know, I'm shooting like crazy. It's like it's just going, it's only when it's black, okay? 
It's nice and clean. It's ready to go. And it literally was that simple. All right. Other than that, this has been fun. Um, let me know in the comments if there's anything you would like me to explain or if there's any type of tutorials you want me to create. Um, other than that, um, this was uh, this was exciting. So like and subscribe. And I'm Odd Kid, and I'll see you next time.